Good morning, Carlson. It's Ryan Kroll here to bring your news, so let's go ahead and uh, jump right in, why don't we? Any student interested in a vocational course, please see Mrs. Palazzolo in the counseling office. The class of 2017 is hosting an upcoming fundraiser that will raise money for this year's prom being held at the Henry Ford Museum on May 6th. On Friday, March 18th, the Lush Brush, a local art studio, will be here conducting a painting class. Each participant will complete a canvas painting with the help of professional painters and their step-by-step -step instructions. The cost is only $40 and half of the profits will go directly to prom. Anyone is welcome to participate, so please spread the word to your families and friends. If you are interested, be sure to reserve your spot with Mrs. Ploze by Monday, February 29th. If any boys are interested in playing golf this spring and missed the meeting, please see Mr. Georgie at your earliest convenience to get any missed information. Seniors, the scholarship spreadsheet has been updated. It is now lovely lavender. Pick one up in the counseling office today. Any students interested in cosmetology, please see Mrs. Palazzolo for information about an upcoming mandatory meeting. It is time to register for 2016 AP exams. AP exams are $92 each, but purchasing three or more exams only costs $70 each. If you are eligible for free or reduced lunch, then test prices will be provided as soon as an amount is finalized. The final date to pay or sign up for tests in the Carlson Library is Friday, March 18th. If you have any questions, speak with your AP teacher or Mr. Peyote in the library. Please make checks out to Gibraltar School District. Sign-ups for Spring Red Cross Blood Drive has begun. The drive will be on March 16th in the Auxiliary Gym. You must be 16 years or older to donate, and you must meet certain height and, re and weight rather, requirements. If you are 16 years old, you must have a signed permission slip. If you are 17 years or older, you can sign up at www redcrossblood.org with the sponsor code Carlson High School, all one word. If you have any more questions, please see Mr. Pihoti in the library today. That is all for your news, Carlson, but stay tuned and don't go far as uh, we'll have a daily weather report for you. Hello Carlson, my name is Sylvia Skywalker, I'm a guest from Southgate Anderson High School and I'm here with your weather. Looks like today there's going to be a high of 33 with a low of 28 with 0% chance of snow. Good for all of us drivers out there. What else do I do? Hey there, Carlson. It's Cody Doherty with your Offbeat News. In Godchill, United Kingdom, some drivers got a strange sight over the weekend. No, this isn't Jurassic Park or Jurassic World escaping. They saw a giant fi fiberglass <laughs> triceratops from a local gem shop, but some people moved it into the road. It was placed in a lowly lit part of the road so it could have caused a crash. Luckily, the dinosaur was not injured. Guess what, guys? Another weird story from Florida. Alligators have been used for many things, from bags to belts to whatever, really. But now, it's a deadly weapon. Joshua James threw a 3.5-foot alligator through a drive through window at a local Wendy's. The animal weighed only 20 to 30 pounds, and its bite was about as tough as a dog's, and the biggest threat was an infected bite. While it was unlikely to attack people, it was highly traumatized and just all around shaken up. Florida man strikes again. That's all for your offbeat news. Stay classy, Carlson. Perfect. What's up guys, we're Dude Perfect.
welcome to Giant Basketball Arcade Battle. Let's, Let's do it! The rules for this battle are simple. After the first two events, the top three competitors with the most points move on to the finale. First competition, Giant Basketball Ski Ball. Low goals two, middle five, sides 10, top 15. Let's do it. Purple Hoser always goes first, set the tone. Boys, girls, here we go. If I win, I win. Might upset some people, but I'm out there to bring home a trophy. The greatest fear is to become the new Kobe. It's time to get a little bit more fierce, a little bit of the temporary tattoo from the grocery store to kind of strike fear in their hearts. Make your mom proud. Here we go. Let's see what he does here. Looks like a good ball right in the middle. Give him the roll. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Oh, okay. myself out of the competition. I'm now just here for comic relief for the rest of the video. Because seven ain't gonna hold up. I think that pushed me at 31. Left points on the board, but I think I finished with 23. You can't complain about that. I'm sitting at 16. Not as bad as some, but not as good as others. After the first competition, Garrett's in first with 31, Kobe in second with 26, I'm in third with 23, Corey's in fourth with 16, Cody bringing up the rear with seven. Time to head to the next competition. Let's, Let's go. go! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second competition, the Earthquake 5000 Papa Shot. We'll have a shooter on the platform, somebody doing the earthquake in. Five shot, two guys with the goal, moving it back and forth. Pop shot style. Let's do this. Pop a shot commences now. You ate a little bit extra for lunch today. Oh, I did. This is for what prize. It's gonna be hard to catch those guys. I could get hot. Go five for five, you never know. I blew up the GoPro. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the finale. It won't be me. I'm gonna have fun watching with the tubers. Nerves are really starting to set in, but you know, in line with the new me, hopefully I'm gonna go in there, do well, and move on. I'm not a fan of serious Kobe. My heart sank, but then I just realized Corey ain't making three. He definitely ain't making four, which is what it would take to knock me out. I just gotta make sure I'm not the new Kobe. Here we go. Go! Corey with a ginormous zero. What's up, guys? I'm Ty. You've probably seen me in some other videos. Uh, just really looking to make a statement today. Want to walk away with a victory. both wrists. <laughs> he jumps, I go. 
Whoa! Wow. I don't really take a man back to the grade school seesaw days. Yeah. You guys are looking at three podium bros. Guys, for those of you who stuck with me, I'm hoping that today's the day it all pays those off. Those 15 people. Just like to say to my fans, a lot of people trashing me out there, but remember, a victory for me is a victory for Cobes. Here we go. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the finale where there is a clean slate. We've got the Cloud Tooth Knockdown, and also we'll be taking home the 2016 Ruffles Cup. Here we go! Yeah. What's up, guys? Helium Ty here at the finale. Let's get it on! Oh. Okay. One tooth down. Second shot. I got my voice back, so. Oh. Yeah! yeah. I'm in first. I need to get lucky on one. Oh! Just to the right. Oh! Yeah, this is final shot. Gotta hit something to go into a playoff or try to win this sucker, so. Like I said, I'm already a winner here, man. I promised my fans a podium. You guys got a podium. Can't make this stuff up. Kobe with three shots. Yep. He gets two teeth. Oh He's gosh. hoisting his first ever. Oh my god. Dude, perfect hey, trophy. So. If I knock down two teeth, I beat him. Three teeth, four teeth, five teeth. These are all options. Oh, okay, okay. You almost missed the clown. Boy, am I ready. Oh. If he misses this shot, ball game, we're going home to celebrate with Ty. If I have any Advil, Tylenol, something, I mean, I got a splitting headache, it's hurt my You're stomach's fine. hurting. March Madness doesn't compare. The Super Bowl doesn't compare. I'm trying to think of anything else important. Okay. When you pull the trigger, you can't take that moment back. Make a decision confidently and do it. Three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, 2016 Ruffles Cup champion, T-Tone. Hey. These are great. It's gonna look good in my trophy case. What?